Hey, hey everyone. We are ready um, to make some carne asada uh, tostados. That's quite a mouthful. Say that fast three or five times. <laughs> okay, it's a tongue twister. Um, so this one is pretty simple to pull together. Um, here's the things I'm pulling um, as far as tools, a small cutting board, one knife, garlic press, um, citrus press, and then this is our adjustable grater. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit more about that. Um, you also need your seasoning. So Chipotle for this one. And it's just a few ingredients. Okay. Recipe on this one calls for a flank steak. And if you've had, um, so I've got one already, already marinating here, but look at that size of that steak. It's very, um, long and wide, but it's not very thick. Um, you can use any steak cut that you would choose for this recipe. Um, your cooking time may adjust just a little bit. If you're using a really thick steak, um, I would recommend maybe just putting, um, slicing it into, it doesn't need to be, you know, small strips, but you know, chunks, if you will, just help it to cook a little bit better. Um, so that's what it's gonna look like if you know this was in the freezer, which it was, um, and and now thawing. Um, but I'm gonna put another one together here for you, and then I'm actually just gonna make them all. So um, this is I've got my beef already in here, oil in the bottom. Remember for the multi pot, we've got oil in there, um, and be be mindful of how you choose to cook this you know, in the future. If you want to grill this, leave your meat in the biggest cut that you can. Um, if you're going to do the multi-pot, that's when you would probably want to do in chunks. So um, we are going to get started here with our ingredients. So grab one thing. Okay, so what we've got here is Chipotle seasoning. Okay, this handy dandy cute little scoop. I just had it pre-measured. Um, so that's really easy. We've got garlic, so we're going to pull off our clove, and these, look at this garlic. This has nothing to do with anything other than these are so massive. Um, man, the recipe was definitely written for like an average garlic clove, so you choose. If you love garlic and you happen to have a mammoth um, one like I do, um, still throw in, you know, the four if you want to cut that down a little bit because it's just so mammoth. Um, absolutely, right? Go ahead. So many choices. Okay, so two things. I'm just going to do two in this because, um, because these are so huge. Look at that. It's just making a mess everywhere. This is so nice and clean unless you have mammoth garlic. But either way, there we go. It's minced and it's done. Okay, and then now I'm gonna use this adjustable grater. So this, it's adjustable because this is um, how it stores. So nice and tidy. I actually store it in a drawer. Um, and then it will have, it has one click, a little silicone stopper there. So you can set it. It also, you can fully extend. So you could, um, you know, if you're doing nutmeg or ginger or something like that right over the top of a meal, um, you definitely could. Um, but in this case, we're going to put it this way. And I'm going to go ahead and zest a lime. Okay, and that is just so easy. Just turn and go, right? Okay. And then I've got, I'm just going to use my knife here, pull up all that on the back. Okay, and then I've still got plenty on my cutting board that I'm going to add as well. Okay, so we've got our garlic, our chipotle seasoning, our lemon zest, and now for lemon juice, um, sorry about that, uh, cut this lemon in half, and we're just going to juice this, both of these in here. Okay, and that is not it. I thought it was. We're adding one more ingredient. We're adding a little bit of honey, and I'm going to choose to not measure this because do y'all ever, like, measure honey in a, in a spoon? 
<laughs> more than half of it stays in the spoon. Um, so recipe is about a tablespoon and I put about that in there. Um, so you choose, right? If you um, don't want to have most of your honey stay in a measuring spoon, just put it right in your bag um, or your pot. And if you don't want it quite as sweet, you can cut that back. You can do a smaller amount. If you really love the idea of that honey lime chipotle, um, go ahead and add the full tablespoon or even a little bit more. So um, this is now gonna go in the multi-pot. I'm gonna put it on, on the beef. Um, pork setting will default to 35 minutes. This meat in here is fully thawed, so I'm gonna drop that a little bit to 25. Um, and then just see how it goes. So as soon as it's done, we'll go ahead and shred with this, and I will show you the next part of preparing this meal, so. Okay, uh, our carne asada is off and cooking. And just a reminder on that, you don't have to use your multi-cooker. You could grill that. Um, you also could slow cook it all day long. Um, you're gonna get the same results. Um, so, you know, just whether you're on high or low, obviously adjust your, your cooking times for that. So now we're gonna make the tostada part of the recipe. And tostada is just um, a, a fancy word for crunchy tortilla, <laughs> okay? Um, you can buy them. Um, they come kind of in a stack. They're usually a little bit smaller. Um, I do like to just make them out of regular tortillas. Either work, um, but I'm gonna show you my process and we'll go from there. So what I do is I take just a big sheet pan, okay, and then I'm just gonna lay, these are pretty large tortillas. I'm gonna lay six of them out. And then I'm going to just drizzle some olive oil all over these <laughs> or any other kind of oil. And then I'm gonna use this handy dandy little basting brush um, and paint them. So another fun um, kid job if you have children that like to help and make messes. <laughs> so, this is a good one. Okay, so you're just gonna basically, you know, spread the oil out all over the full tortilla. Um, I am going to broil these. So if you're anything like me, be careful with your broil setting because you have to pay attention. Um, but they won't take very long. I'll do one side, I'll pull the sheet pan out um, and then flip to the other side. Now, if you really want to, um, after you've toasted the bottoms and you flip them, you could add shredded cheese and then your, you know, tostadas are already going to be, have that, you know, melted gooey ooey cheese on them already. Um, so this will be, you know, this will only take a couple minutes to make. Um, so while your carne asada is cooking, you can prep these. You can also get ready any toppings that you're going to add to them. So be thinking, you know, stuff like um, just avocado or make guacamole, you could do pico, you could do tomatoes. Um, you know, anything else, cheese, either add to the, you know, your tortillas or have that to add on um, elsewhere. You could throw in rice to the mix if you really wanted to. Uh, this meat is super great for this. Um, and, it, and another uh, trick is that if you just don't have time to make these, you literally can just wrap them up in a flour tortilla or use a hard shell taco um, and do that as well. So that is easy. Um, the leftovers of this meal make awesome lunches, um, especially if you've got rice on hand. So use your, like a, the cilantro lime rice that we've shared in the past um, and do kind of a bowl. Um, so do your meat and then, you know, lots of just fresh veggies and cheese if you wish on the side. So um, you could also add in, let's see, like black beans, you could do green onions, um, jalapenos if you want any more kick. Lots of options to this, um, but it is just intended to be pretty simple. Um, gives you dinner and then also gives you leftovers to do something with for lunch, okay? So this I will get broiled and then um, as soon as our beef is done, we will put everything together. All right, everything is now done. So we're gonna go ahead and put every, um, throw these together. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Okay, so here was the piece of flank steak and I took this out of the multi-cooker. 
carefully as I could because even just taking it out, you can just see how it just falls apart. Um, so if you have chosen to use this type of meat and you don't want it to be quite so long, I would just go ahead and cut that in half. And then as you continue to shred, either with your quick shred or just a couple forks, this is what it's gonna look like. It's just gonna fall apart, okay? Um, and then I only had one casualty in, um, <laughs> broiling these I told exactly what I told you would happen did um, okay so these are just they're all done but they're just you can see they're nice and toasted I actually did put cheese on them um, but this is a it's a queso fresco cheese so it's a, a Mexican variety but you can't, you, you can't see that I put the cheese on it <laughs> okay um, so in terms of dishing these it's just gonna be on the plate okay and then you're just gonna use your meat kind of like building a salad like upside down except on a tortilla okay so i'm gonna spread that out i've already got cheese on there um and then we talked earlier you couldn't do guacamole and pico and all that you also can make this so simple um i'm just gonna slice and squeeze an avocado on here or a half of an avocado and then i've got just some fun these little baby uh, cherry tomatoes that I can throw on here. Um, I probably will just do, you could do a little squirt of lime juice if you really wanted, um, but I think you're gonna find um, this meat is so tender, um, but it has got just a fun kick to it. And you can taste the lime, and it's got a little bit of sweet from the honey. So it's got a tiny bit of kick, not much at all super like family friendly kid friendly um i think you guys are gonna love these so this would be what you're you know put lettuce on whatever you want to do on top of these um but there you go there's a massive tostado you could um you want to make them a little smaller they have you know where you buy tortillas at the store you can get like the little street taco ones um very smaller you know much different size so that's what your uh, meal is going to look like for dinner. And then, like we talked about, packing up for lunches. So, enjoy, everybody.